Hi everyone, I'm Patty Klimek and I am going to be teaching beginning hand embroidery and crayon tint embroidery at Pacific International Quilt Festival this year. It, the classes take place on Saturday, October 14th, and this is my first year teaching at PIQF. I'm so excited to be joining the list of teachers and classes that are so outstanding and that you've seen year after year at PIQF. My first class beginning embroidery is going to be on Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. You will be learning some basic stitches on a sampler. We'll start out doing a running stitch, back stitch, and then learn the outline stitch. Go on to chain stitch and daisy, lazy daisy, the loop stitches blanket stitch, satin stitch, and then finally a French knot. Along with all of these stitches, you'll be learning my tips and techniques to make a really pretty sampler and to become a successful embroiderer. You can take all of these basic stitches and apply them to my second class. My, it's going to be crayon tint embroidery. Crayon tinting is a forgotten technique that was really popular in the 1930s. You take regular old Crayola crayons and apply them to fabric and heat set them. Then you embellish them with really pretty embroidery stitches. You might have seen this pattern of the mid-century modern cat on your parents' walls if you're of a certain age that was done really, it was really popular being done as a mosaic. Both beginning stitchers and experienced stitchers will be able to master this technique. And if you're a little rusty on your stitches, don't worry, I'll go over them again in class. First, we'll transfer the design onto a piece of cotton or muslin. Then we'll apply a base coat of white crayon. Start putting on the colors, heat set it, and then apply the embroidery that'll really make the colors pop. I'm so excited to be able to bring a little bit of the slow stitch movement to PIQF on Saturday. If you would like to put your, your machines away and come join us, please do. And I hope you'll rediscover the joys of handwork.